Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the Gens series here on royal.enchantedmc.net. Of course, if you guys do want to come check out the server, please consider using that custom IP because whenever you guys do, it does directly support me and the channel. And for any Bedrock players that are also looking for a Gens server, look no further. I will leave the Bedrock port and the Bedrock IP down below in the description because this server is Java and Bedrock compatible. Also guys, before we actually even hop into to today's uh gens episode i just wanted to let you guys know that dungeons is going to be resetting this saturday at 3 p.m est let me see that is november november 16th at 3 p.m est again it is java and bedrock compatible so for any bedrock players if you do want to try out the brand new dungeons game mode make sure you guys hop on for start of the world i'll be doing a showcase video uh probably like on friday or just somewhere later later in the week showing off all of the brand new updates for the season but dungeons is always Always a blast to play so if you guys do want to check it out releasing this saturday at 3 p.m est now with all that being said let's hop straight into today's gens episode guys i didn't know you could actually do this but i have been afk at the mines for like honestly like a full day i want to say as you guys can see i usually do afk at like slash warp farm because it is better for levels and prestiging but i actually decided to afk over here at the mines because i needed some orbs for some better companions companions i didn't know af kane over here was gonna be this good by the way but the amount of orbs we have from literally af kane haven't mind a block is absolutely insane so let's get out of f1 and take a look at my scoreboard boom we have 42 billion orbs and look how often our orb greed enchant is actually proccing while standing in the afk zone i think it's kind of incredible i'm not gonna cap but also taking a look at our pickaxe we did prestige orb greed a couple of times we can't actually prestige this again until until we hit prestige 75 but i am prestige 74 and we are only nine levels away from hitting prestige 75 so granted we did upgrade this quite a bit and in the last episode as well slash pets we have maxed out the level of our brand new enchant pet okay which this is definitely helping us a lot oh my god i just realized guys i afk for this long with literally no orb pet that is low-key criminal i can't believe i forgot to do that bro let's unequip our money pet okay we can't unequip the money pet for some reason equip the orbs i can't believe i did that bro i've been afk we still have 42 billion orbs by the way and i didn't have my pet equipped literally at all so i could have had way more because now look at this now we're getting 3.4 billion orbs 2.1 3.9 billion where up here we were getting like 1.4 1.9 three sometimes two billion 4.1 billion 3.6 dude i could have literally doubled my orbs we would have been at like 80 billion which would have been absolutely insane so my bad um i did kind of sell in that aspect i am not gonna lie to you and this isn't even the max out level we still need a hundred extra levels to make this thing max and wait a minute what the hell why do i have a prestige 75 bundle whenever i'm prestige 74 i don't know but either way guys we have a bunch of orbs for today's video i low-key do want to mine a little bit and get even more orbs because i want some good pets or not pets sorry i want some good companions and right now we're just making a stupid stupid amount of orbs but i don't know we might hold off on that until we get another quest in the like cave world because right now we have to go into the forest and that's gonna suck then we have farming simulator um and then finding nemo and then we can come back to the cave so that might be like something for the next episode i'm not entirely sure just yet but we do have a bunch of orbs to play with in today's video so first things first i'm going into my companion companions and we are maxing out our companion upgrades all right these things are relatively expensive so i don't actually know how many orbs we're gonna have left but maxing these things out uh, i think is kind of essential and boom there we go maxed out our void chances and we still have 41 billion orbs so we should be good because i also just maxed out this one shiny upgrade max this out as well yeah we're gonna have plenty of orbs bro and then the luck upgrade last upgrade until we max out everything boom there we go level 50s across the board which means we have have a chance of just pulling like raw shiny companions rainbow companions and void companions without even having to fuse so we still have a whopping 34 billion orbs to go ahead and work with i'm gonna head back over to warp farm just for right now because we are about to hit prestige 75 and i don't know whenever we're gonna unlock brand new companions but if we're literally right about to unlock brand new companions clearly i rather not use my orbs on these ones i want to use it on the next tier but i don't know how they actually tear up but i 
I have a theory. We are about to unlock Bubble Coral at Prestige 75, literally in seven levels. So I'm assuming we might unlock some new companions as well. Kind of what I'm banking on. And then we are going crazy all in on this roll here in one level, hopefully. Please bang. There we go. Just hit a new milestone and Egypt bundle. I was right. We are now on Egypt tiered um, companions. Definitely a little weird. Let's take a look at the bundles because guys, oh my God, I forgot to mention this. There was a brand new update literally today. So taking a look at my inventory, treasure chests are now back on gens they usually drop this um pretty like like a week and a half into the map and taking a look at these things you can win all of the loot boxes which means there are brand new bundles and i believe there's also a brand new armor set and guys i've gone all season without pulling one armor set by the way slightly insane the only reason why i have this set is because it was donated to us by drizzle in the last episode but i have still yet to pull one set myself and this one is a point five x to all stats family the warrior set that we currently have is a 0.375 x which is still really good but let's go ahead and take a look at these brand new bundles and see if we actually want to purchase any if any are going to be worth it but it might just be worth it to buy the actual slash bundle from slash buy because that does come with a level companion as well but yeah i have 11 treasure chests i mainly got these from afk and i got a few from just like actually grinding but i think we might go ahead and sell these because another update on the server slash shop take a look at the generator shop guys they have added three new tiers of gens so literally in the last episode we just made a max out gen farm well it wasn't maxed for long because taking a look the new max gen farm is magenta terracotta generators and look at how damn expensive these things are 10.8 trillion dollars for one generator i don't even know if it's going to be possible to get another maxed farm this season because 10.8 trill for one is ridiculous so i really got no clue but i am debating selling like these treasure chests and some keys for some more money in the later episodes basically what we just did in the last episode but i just got to stock up on way more to try and get the brand new gens anyways slash bundles what do we got here we have the egypt bundle 5,000 credits comes with the goddess companion which i'm assuming is the brand new egypt one but it's only a 2.5x level multi so we actually don't care about the companion this one prestige 75 only 2.5k credits comes with some boosters and some of the brand new treasure loot boxes i yeah i don't think those are honestly that good let's do slash buy take a look at these bundles right here see this is more like it 10 enchant crystal boxes eight tier four totem boxes some master booster boxes seven treasure loot boxes and one treasure companion which is a 17.5x level multi we are purchasing this thing right here and out of these seven crates guys are we going to pull our very first set of the season i guess we're about to find out so for right now we're going to dump all of our keys in here just to go ahead and clear some inventory space we will open up these totem boxes i don't actually expect to get get any upgrades out of these totem boxes because my totems are really good already to be honest oh wait this is a better orbs totem oh my god dude i was afk without an orbs totem as well am i just a moron bro i might be the worst gens player of all time whatever dude i could have had way more orbs it's fine all right it's whatever so slash companion now we also just got this brand new treasure companion 17.5x level multi is devious bro get rid of the popcorn equip this one and if i just do slash a boost real quick what the hell is my level booster a 55x bro 41x from our level companions and that's gonna slightly go up here in a second whenever i use some of my orbs to get some brand new ones as well but anyways let's move on to the treasure loot boxes bro first one i need to see the brand new set i think the treasure set or something i forgot what it was even called but i need to see it nonetheless okay slide it over we are getting coin pouches coin pouches are always great 75 gen slots is insane um, I don't actually have enough money to, you know, accommodate for all of the gens. Wait, oh my god, no, we just went up to 58 trillion? These brand new crates give you a ridiculous amount of money, which is actually gonna be super helpful. We will take that. Orbs pouches as well, um, okay. Don't know how much that's really gonna be worth, but another 75 gens. Guys, let's relax on the gen slots, and let's give me, uh, an armor set, yeah? I think that would be fair. We almost have a thousand gen slots already as a complete solo. We can make a pretty insane farm. We got an enchanted cell one. Um, okay, it is literally the same exact one from the last crate so we don't need this at all all right let's switch it up let's go to slash is go is my alt still online yes it is love to see it bro love my console client we're definitely gonna sell our farm here in a second but let's switch it up bro because uh slash warp farm i'm not getting any luck over there i'm opening the crates straight onto the gen farm we already have an extra 200 gen slots for today's episode 112 trillion dollars i don't know if that's actually enough for 200 gens and okay just add on to it great bro we might have a thousand gen slots by the end of this crate keo 
opening. I am not gonna lie and still have not seen one set. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That is, okay, yeah. Thousand gen slots, just like that. Oh my God. And boom, a hundred tool perk rolls. You know what? In today's episode, we actually are gonna be using some tool perk rolls, okay? I don't know if we're gonna be using it on our hoe, but definitely on our axe, I believe, and our pickaxe as well. Here we go with another crate. Please give me the set. 50 enchanted crystal boxes. I guess that is pretty decent, but still not what we want. Final treasure loot box, last chance here at a set. Maybe not last chance, because I might have to buy another box bundle if we still don't get the damn set because i have opened up like 30 crates this season literally 0 for 30 no sets it's ridiculous it, it's ridiculous it's got to be a joke i'm gonna keep it a ban guys this luck is disgusting all right i think i bro i have to go in one more time one more bundle i'm gonna speed open it so i don't waste too much time i have to bro this is disgusting another bundle let me just speed open all of this stuff so i don't bore you guys we're doing three treasure loot boxes at a time dude for the love of god bless me with a set man i am I, i'm on my hands and knees bro i'm begging so so here we go three final rewards boom captain rank five skin keys five skin crate keys last four treasure crates if we don't get the set out of here guys chalk it all right we're, we're never pulling it this season it's over last and final try of the season and holy hell this has been the most disgusting season i've ever i've ever played bro luck wise i mean uh somebody let me know what i'm doing wrong because i am actually mind blown now i did see we just won uh an infinity enchant pet bro but i just spent all of last episode upgrading this enchanted enchant champ pet i don't even know if it's worth it i'm gonna go into my ec we do have a decent amount of uh, books of experience slash pets like because i can't combine these bro it's kind of filthy that they ended up doing this bro let's see what level we can get this thing to and i have like ss and buff on this one i have buff three as a trait I, I just can't switch over to this at least not right now maybe whenever we get this thing to level 650 we can go ahead and do it but for right now no way and i have so many enchanted crystal boxes that it is actually insane so i'm gonna go ahead and open these up off camera and see if i can spot any decent wins that we get out of them all right guys so i just went ahead sifted through all of the enchant crystals and i think these are like the best ones that we really got just like things that are high percentages okay so first things first i am actually gonna apply a couple of these right now i don't know if nuke is necessarily good i do believe trident is a really good fishing enchant don't really know if warden is good i just kind of got the things that were like really high but these three are for sure going on our hoe immediately or besides the orb greed obviously that's gonna go on our pickaxe so let's go ahead grab some dust right here i think most of these are like almost damn near maxed out oh i guess not this one jesus christ um almost ate through all of our dust right there and this one's actually a super low percentage as well but i have so much dust shouldn't really be a problem okay there we go everything is now a hundred percent we are getting a flash crystal on here bang coin magnet as well and then can we fit the warden um there is no more additional crystal slots okay then i think we're just gonna rock with this i don't know how i didn't get a better laser crystal all we have is a 79 percent right now i did save all of the uh like enchant crystals that we got and i don't think i got one better than a 79 percent boost which is a little crazy so now switch over to the pickaxe we are going to beam this weak 56 percent orb greed boost and switch it with a 93 percent orb greed booster right here should actually make a massive difference when farming orbs boom there we go and our coin boost on this thing does kind of suck so let's go ahead and swap this out with a brand new coin crystal as well a 194 percent success boom there we go so bang there we go got all of the upgrades done and out of the way now let's go ahead and sell our farm for the first time in a minute and we have a bunch of money to place down a thousand gens so really quickly i am gonna pop a 6x money booster right here wait oh we already have one activated so actually we're gonna hold off on selling this farm because i have like a 1x activated super super buns so let me just go ahead buy a grip of these lime terracotta generators real quick i don't really know how much we need i'm definitely gonna have to make a bunch of pillars oh my god i accidentally used money on upgrading these gens i forgot i can't spam them like that now that there are brand new gen tiers that is my bad and bang there we go if you guys have ever wondered what a thousand gens looks like you probably haven't but uh this is what it looks like right here we are a thousand out of a thousand gens now let's go ahead and their chest spend the rest of our money on upgrading these brand new gens to the new tiers now 
obviously we're not going to be reaching max in today's video this is going to be something that we have to work on throughout the rest of the season i believe but we do have a whopping 600 trillion dollars left over so let's go ahead hit some upgrades if we can turn this entire farm into this brand new blue block right here that would be absolutely insane but i somewhat doubt that because we're already down to 480 trill and look at how many pillars we have to go so i believe the dream is going to be cooked but this should be making us way more money as well with all of the generators we've added and of course the brand new tier as well and holy hell wait guys we actually got a lot more pillars than i thought we were gonna get can we finish this last one we might be able to oh no we're gonna be just under we cannot afford it now i still have an hour and a half of this personal money booster oh my god we should have a decent amount of money in here though this number right here what is that that's 286 billion that doesn't really matter because we have so many money multipliers so it doesn't really mean anything to me right here so yeah we're just gonna have to wait to sell this in the next clip because i definitely want to use my six x money booster on it because we have been afk in this thing for like a day and a half i believe but hey so far this gen farm is coming along pretty nicely almost got the full tier of new gens right here the cyan terracotta then we'll move on to the pink and then hopefully eventually we will move on to the magenta terracotta as well or what we could do is i could sell all of these farm keys really quick sell all wait oh my god bro the shop is poor no way they might have money in their treasure chest uh little no bro these shops are dead out of money and wait a minute hold on we actually found a better shop fidget spawners has a better prices 300 billion sell all they can actually afford it it was only worth 69 trillion but to be fair it didn't take a long time to actually sell and get those keys now i could sell you know we're gonna sell a couple treasure chests 55 trillion dollars per boom i think i want to hang on to like at least five of these things okay boom there we go now let's go back to slash is go and let's see if we can max out this gen farm with the brand new cyan terracotta because we had another 400 trillion dollars from selling just to help out my ocd like a little bit okay boom there we go we are now on full cyan and i have an extra 270 trillion so we will start moving on to the pink as well but every time i use this gen one bro it is costing 28 trillion to upgrade we only had enough for one pillar oh my lord but screw it there we go got all of that done now guys let's actually move on we are going to be going over to the war forest in today's video not only for the challenge all right like yes there is is an npc here for some more gen slots but that is not the only reason why we are coming over here okay and boom upgrade to this sick looking axe by the way but i do believe that they dropped an update and there are shard enchants here at warp forest okay let's take a look i haven't looked the entire season but i already see it dude shard greed enchant we absolutely need that we have 118 billion wood coins literally just from opening up rates here which is great um fortune i don't know if we're actually gonna need that key finder lightning lumberjack i don't know if any of these enchants matter ghost is probably very good but it's 64 billion to max out that's a little pricey for me i think i just want to go for shard greed how many levels of this can we get only 27 levels is kind of devious work but now let's go ahead talk to the npc welcome to the new world officer the wood cutting world this is my least favorite world to grind by the way guys chopping wood is just so boring to me also we do have 2.7 billion wood coins left over i'll just throw it on fortune because we might need to like condense or something all right cut down 500 oak logs for general adam i believe this is oak right boom this is all we're going to be doing and shard greed does does actually proc here as you guys see in chat 30 shards so i do want to try and max out shard greed in today's video and that way we could actually afk here and gain shards while afk to max out our armor set that's kind of the goal because you make shards so slow from like farming or mining or anything else i think wood cutting might be the only way so guys let's go ahead and just do slash quest real quick and see everything that we're gonna have to do so we're gonna chop down these 500 oak logs condense enchanted oak logs wait oh my god that means wait where's my backpack um i think i might have slash trashed my backpack how the hell do i get another one? Oh wait there's a slash backpack command okay so let's disable auto sell because we are going to need to condense these logs and then what was the rest condense talk to npc cut down another thousand logs enchant them again or condense cut down another 2.5k logs so i'm gonna have to cut down like almost 5,000 raw logs here and that might not sound like a lot but trust me it is so guys i'm just gonna take a cut right here i'm going to be farming we are gonna be making shards so that's gonna be a good 
good sign. I'll bring you guys back whenever I have completed the entire quest storyline for the forest world. All right, guys, honestly, this didn't take that long. I swear I remember this being like way longer last season, but I'm not complaining, bro. We did get all the way up to 13,000 shards already. And off camera, I did prestige coin greed a decent amount as well, because guys, one level of shard greed now is 7.7 .7 billion wood coins. So I don't even have enough to purchase one level right now. I don't know if anybody even has this enchant maxed out, but I don't think I actually need to max it out because we're going to come over here. We're going to talk to the NPC. PC. Let's see what kind of rewards he actually gives me. It's probably going to be like some gen slots and stuff. And to be honest, I don't think we're going to be able to afford to place them down. Start of the world loot box, monthly crate, 35 gen slots. All right. We don't really care about the gen slots right now. I just kind of ran through this because we could, but now it is super late at night. I'm talking 5 a.m. EST. Okay. I am hopping my butt straight into the AFK area. And as you guys can see overnight, this is going to make us shards. Now I know it only says like 29. It may not seem like a lot, but trust me, this is the best way to make shards on the server. Obviously, AFK isn't going to be as good as manually grinding, but still, like, shards aren't going to go up to the high levels of, like, coins or orbs or money or anything like that. Shards are going to stay at a pretty low, like, currency level. So now, guys, I am going to take a cut. I am going to AFK here. I am going to bed, and then in the next clip, we will see how many shards we end up with, and then we're probably going to spend all of it on our set. Well, guys, we are back, and it is now the complete next day and let me show you guys the results of af kane after upgrading our shard greed enchant only like halfway maxed by the way get out of f1 157,000 shards by far the most amount of shards i have had all season probably ever on gens we also do have another 146 billion wood coins from straight afk so let's actually take a look at the shard greed boom that's going to be worth another 15 levels actually we are only eight levels away from now maxing out shard greed so this was an absolute insane turnout i honestly didn't even expect it to be this good for shards but yeah if you guys want some shards to upgrade your set definitely look into just coming to warp forest for a little bit upgrading shard greed and then literally just standing in the AFK zone. So now, slash sets. We are upgrading the hell out of our set right here. I don't think we're going to be getting a golden set for the rest of the season, dude. I haven't pulled not one set all season long. So let's just go ahead and go all in on this set right here. First one, I think we're going to go ahead and max out Bountiful Burst. So that way we can get some more coins. And then the next one, I think Best Friend is like really, really good. I don't know what Blacksmith would do. Tool Experience. Tool Experience kind of goes off of uh your Prestige level. So seems kind of useless to me not entirely sure though but those are the two enchants that we are going to max out on the set first and then we will look at all of the other ones and here we go final piece of gear right here now i think boom everything is maxed out like the important enchants i think best friend and bountiful burst are just the most important next one like rubies rubies aren't even on gens jackpot money you don't really make money while grinding but ooh, you might actually be able to proc jackpot whenever you're about to sell and that might give you a better sell booster and then i guess you know we'll we'll try and max out blacksmith as well because now i'm just gonna have extra shards that i am not gonna know what to do with and just under basically completely maxing out our set um the only thing that we're missing again is prosperity but you there's no rubies on the server so what does that enchant even do but now taking a look at our set we have almost fully maxed out wait momentum six on the boots hold on what does that mean whoa 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 whoa, bro Mo momentum's not even an enchant how the hell did i get that i have momentum six but there's no way to upgrade it i mean I, I guess i'll just take it i don't know but anyways guys listen that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode of gens again massive shard farming method right over here this is definitely the meta if you guys want to upgrade your set but yeah if you guys did enjoy drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the server world.enchantedmc.net don't forget about the dungeons reset this weekend and yeah we'll catch you guys in the next episode of the gens series